Hi, welcome. My name is Sarah Madras. I'm the founder of Esteem Builders Coaching. I am a motivational speaker and a relationship therapist. And what I've learned over the last 12 years as a licensed therapist is that the number one thing for long-term health and happiness is close relationships. And so that's why it is my mission to teach audiences how to strengthen their interpersonal skills so that you can have success and fulfillment in all of your relationships. Fulfillment with the relationship with yourself, with a spouse, children, loved ones, in the workforce, and the community. And so today I'm gonna to be talking about conflict and fear of conflict. So if this is your first time meeting me, welcome. I'm so glad you stumbled across me however you did. And uh, if this is your first time, you probably don't know much about me. So let me start out with telling you about a story of how I grew up. So I was raised in an Italian household with the Italian culture. Um, our cousins lived next door and aunts, uncles, cousins, they were all in the same area. And so in the Italian culture, conflict isn't uh, a negative thing. Like we were constantly loud, people were always sharing their opinions and you could have all these big, loud, strong opinions in one room, and you always knew that you were loved and it didn't change that love. You knew that you're, that there was the family loyalty. And so I grew up in that, and so I wasn't afraid to express my opinions. But then when I went out into the world and was at school or I had you know my first jobs in high school and then in college, that's not how the American culture is. And so I was always seen and criticized for being too opinionated, too strong, too assertive, uh, too outspoken, and uh, especially being a woman. And so I would be criticized and put down for that. And it wasn't until I became an adult that I realized it's okay to have opinions and it's okay to speak your truth. It's actually extremely important in your relationship with yourself and with others to speak your truth and be honest with your opinions. And that even though American culture tells us that we need to have one opinion or these boxed in opinions, that it's okay to have differing opinions and still respect and care about people. And so that's the difference between disagreeing and judgment. So maybe ask yourself, am I afraid of conflict because I'm afraid of being judged? Because typically that's what it is. When we're afraid of conflict, it's like because we're afraid we're gonna be judged and then we're afraid we're gonna be rejected. And I'm so grateful that I grew up in a family culture where I didn't have to be afraid that I was gonna be judged and I didn't have to be afraid that I was gonna be rejected because you know, the core values in that culture is that conflict isn't a big deal. Everybody says what they want to say and that there's that family loyalty. And so if you think about the relationships in your life where there's loyalty and where you're allowed to have different opinions, it looks differently. And so how it looks differently is you can disagree and you can share your opinion without being judged. So disagreeing in real life looks like, oh, hey, you bought a $5,000 new golf set. I wouldn't use my money you know, for a golf set. I disagree with how you use that money. I would use my money differently. And I still love you and I still honor your choices and nothing changes in our relationship. I would just do it differently. That's disagreeing. That's you having your opinion, the other person having their opinion, and you respecting each other's differences. And judgment looks like this. So the same example that someone you know and love buys $5,000 golf bag. Oh my gosh, that was such a stupid use of your money. I mean, I can't believe you went and spent $5,000 on new golf clubs. You have golf clubs in there that work perfectly fine. That is so silly. Shame on you for spending your money that way. That's judgment. So judgment is when you are putting the other person down, when you're criticizing them, uh, 
when you're either name calling, things like that. So, and judgment is kind of like saying, I'm better than you. So I wouldn't make that decision. I disagree with your decision. So now I think I'm better than you. That's judgment. And so I think we're stuck where we feel like if we disagree, that it means we're judging. And that's not true. The truth is you can disagree with someone and still respect them and still love them and still know that they are equally worthy as you are. Like you can still know I'm not better than you. We're just different. So when you're talking to people, who are the people that you can have conversations with and you can disagree with them and you don't get judged in return? Or when you talk, do you respond unconsciously by judging other people's decisions or opinions? Instead of just disagreeing and say, hey, you know, I wouldn't choose that or I wouldn't, you know, I don't agree with that choice and I still love you. I don't agree with that choice and we're still the same. Like I am no better or worse than you. Whereas judgment is, I disagree with that choice and I think I'm better than you now. So it's a, it's a uh, huge difference in how we interact. And so once you realize it's okay to disagree and that uh, it's okay to speak your truth, your relationships become richer because the people that are judging you, the people that do respond to you with judgment and criticism of putting you down, of telling you your opinion's wrong or telling you that you're bad or that's a bad choice or shame on you, you can say to those people, hey, it's okay for you to disagree with my choice. It's not okay for you to judge me. And so you can set that boundary with them of we don't have to agree on everything and we can disagree and still love each other and still be family because it's how we talk to each other. And so that distinction between disagree and judgment can wash away that fear of conflict because you know that no matter what your opinions are or what your choices are, that you are still loved and you're still respected and it, you're safe in your community. So it's so important for people to have that sense of belonging to that community. And sometimes that community may not be our family. We can't uh, change people or we can try to teach them and, and talk to them about these things. But if they choose not to change, then you can still have a relationship with them. It's a different one. But you know, these are the conversations I only have with this community over here, with my tribe over here. Okay. So uh, I hope that helps you to feel more confident and feel more empowered to speak your truth and share your opinions. And if it was an aha moment for you, that maybe when you respond to people, you've been accidentally responding to them with judgment rather than with just disagreement, that this will allow you to correct that moving forward so that you can have closer and more connected relationships with the people in your life. Because it's never ever too late to change a dynamic. It's never too late to learn a new behavior or learn a new way to talk to people. And so just remember that if you want these connected and loving relationships with people where they feel safe and you feel safe and where they feel loved and you feel loved and there's that loyalty, then no, when you respond, that respond through disagreement and kindness and not judgment. So remember, disagreement is, I would not make that choice myself and I still love you. Judgment is, I would not make that mistake. I think I'm better than you now because you made a mistake, I wouldn't. I think you're you know, I think you're silly or naive or stupid or being too sensitive for doing that or reacting that way. That's judgment. Okay. So anytime you criticize or put someone down or say that your opinion is better, right, and that they are worse and wrong, that's how you know that you're passing judgment. And that's what's damaging to relationships. So nurture your relationships by being able to disagree. You can talk about anything in the world and be able to disagree 
because you know no matter what, you are loved. All right, thanks so much. And tune in for next time. If you like this and you have takeaways from it, feel free to comment, uh, like it, share it. Check out my website where you can download free resources on how to create healthy and fulfilling relationships. And if you want me to come into your organization or your association and speak more on these topics of how to uh, strengthen your interpersonal skills so that you can have successful and filling relationships, feel free to leave me a comment or visit me on my website. It's sarahmadras.com. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.